What's up y'all? I am finally back after my long hiatus from making videos. I have missed y'all so much and that has taken me a long time to build up some content that I'm going to start posting on a regular basis. I'm going to post every Monday and Wednesday. Fridays are going to be reserved for special videos that I see fit. Maybe a few here and there that I might do. But I'm going to come at you every Monday and Wednesday with a video and some content. So let's get into it with the first video that I have since my hiatus and it's an absolute banger. So recently I had a conversation with somebody that I'm friends with and they were asking me why I choose to watch anime instead of real TV. Now confused, I looked at them and I asked, what is real TV? Of course they were talking about live action shows as opposed to anime. And they said to me that they, they wondered why people would choose to watch anime, which they think is weird and meant for kids as opposed to watching live action TV. And the first thing that I thought of was, can I make a video on this? Can I make a video explaining why somebody would choose to watch anime over a live action TV series and what the benefit of watching anime over live action TV is? So let's get into it. So for starters, let's just dissect why somebody would want to watch anime over a live action TV show. Say you want to watch a live action TV show that's throwing out some sick martial arts moves and cutting off people's limbs left and right. You could choose to watch movies like IP Man or The Raid or shows like Cobra Kai. Now, two of the three of those are foreign shows, but we'll just start with that. So, IP Man actually cost around $11.72 million to produce. Cobra Kai costed $8 million, and The Raid costed astoundingly only $1.1 million to produce. Let's take one of the most popular anime to come out this year, God of High School. Most sources claim that it cost around $2 million to produce an average 13 episode anime. God of High School is around 12 episodes and really, really well animated, as well as it's a product of Korea, so it had to be exported to Japan for animation, which probably cost more so around, the, around $3 million to produce, which is still almost half the cost of Cobra Kai. And if you watch them side by side, there's much crazier things happening in God of High School, and the plot in of itself is much better and more fleshed out. And the fight scenes are insane comparatively. But I, I hear what you're saying. Most anime has to be translated and the dubs for the anime sound absolutely trash and it's really hard to listen to them, especially with the way that they write their scripts. And most people absolutely refuse to watch subbed anime. But I got news for you. 90% of the shows on Netflix have the worst acting I've ever seen in my entire life, yet most have made it to the trending list. So, I mean, I guess to each their own. But let's be honest, they're really not much different from each other. Next, we'll talk about the ability for crossover that anime has versus a live action show. Most live action shows have to stick within one or two genres, that way it can stay inside of a niche audience, that way it can gain some traction and popularity. Whereas anime can really just cross over into any genre that it wants. I mean, you can have a, a futuristic martial arts, you can have a throwback martial arts, you can, you can do something in the past with mech, you can do something in the future with... Uh, Edo period style stuff. I mean you can go anywhere you want in anime and there's just so many different areas that you can bounce off of because it doesn't have to worry about being so niche because there's so much of it out there that the niche stuff is good for the niche people and then there's stuff for the people that just don't care and just want to see something crazy. Plus most anime that have two or more genre appeal to a wide variety of people and if somebody doesn't like one genre they'll not like the other or they'll like the cohesion of the two different genres put together and it allows for anime to have a much more cohesive project when you think about the fact that the two genres genres go really well together or bounce off of each other really well. Such as if you have like a mystery etchy. Those two don't mix at all yet somehow when they're put together and they bounce off of each other they make a really good project. The third and final point which is something that I hear the most from everybody and it's the point that I actually probably agree with the most is that they don't like the over sexualization in anime of women and teenage girls and while I wholeheartedly hear this point not every single genre and not all anime over sexualize girls for the point of marketability and bringing in a new audience for a broader sense inside of the genre aside from the other genre that it's paired up with. There are legitimately genres out there meant for sexualization in one way or the other where you're going the edgy harem which is over sexualizing girls or you're going the reverse harem which is sexualizing guys or the yow or your which is basically just guy on guy or girl on girl. But if you choose to look at live action shows based on high school drama those really aren't much better because they have adults play the teenagers and the reason why they have adults play the teenagers is so that they can incorporate adult themes such as sex, alcohol, cussing or adult themes like that and they don't have to actually put kids into that mix to put like point out some kind of weird trend in kids doing that kind of stuff. Instead they have adults doing it pretending to be kids, which might be just as weird. So in summation, yes, anime can be weird sometimes and there are a few genres that are definitely not meant for the broader spectrum of their watchers and their viewers, but they have a few things that they need to get ironed out and if they got those few things ironed out, anime would be a nationwide phenomenon because you could do way more with it on a cheaper budget than you could with a live action show. And a lot of anime is actually geared more for adults and teenagers of like 17, 18, 19 range. And there's a lot of shows about college, there's a lot of shows about adulthood. The problem is that these shows are buried beneath 
um, a wall and that wall is the shonen genre. So the shonen genre is a bunch of shows meant for 13 and 14 year olds because that's the marketability at the moment. Those are the people that are gonna watch these shows. So it, really, if you wanna see an anime about adult people doing adult things, you just gotta search for that because there's far more anime to watch than there is live action shows. And that's just because there's 14 to 15 anime that come out every four months basically. So there's four months worth of anime that you can just catch up on out of nowhere. So if you want to go check out some anime, go check it out. It doesn't matter how de deep you dig into it. I'm guaranteeing you that you'll find at least one or two shows that you really, really like and can stick with. If you want to find any shows, hit me up. I got a whole wealth of knowledge and I'm here to share it with you. If you have some shows that you think I might not have seen before and never heard of, hit me up because I'd love to know. Uh, that'll do it for me, y'all. I'm glad that I came back on such a strong note. I got a lot more videos lined up. Monday and Wednesday, I will be dropping a bunch of videos, and I'll be staying on top of it for a while because I love doing this, and I love y'all, and I'm so happy to be back. So I'll see y'all on Wednesday for a hump day because I know I couldn't let that one go. Maybe I'll see y'all on Friday. Maybe I won't, but I'll definitely see y'all Monday and Wednesday, this week and next week and the week after that. That's it for me, y'all. Yeah. I'm out. Peace. I must confess, yeah, I'm doing well. What goes around comes around like a carousel. And the haters keep on watching and paying attention. You sending shots, well, I'm sorry, I can't even tell. I envision going out to eat with them lights. Get in my suit, tailor, make sure that it fit right. Bank account looking like I sell cocaine. To think a couple years ago I was a no name. In the city with a 10 where I wanna stay. Downtown Cincinnati each and every day. Top flow, Chardonnay on a Saturday. I take this shit year to year, but you day to day. Yeah, old friends ask where I been They always want a feature and they ask if I'm in I tell them whatever I tell them and I keep it moving Years ago they never called, I find it amusing